Hello, kings, queens, all monarchs in between. Uh, nervous here, nervous by name, nervous by nature, with another speedrun attempt. A uh, little something different today. Um, this is a longtime favorite of mine. Uh, a, uh, for all intents and purposes, a Kusoge uh, 3D horror adventure uh, from the folks at Takara and uh, Soft Machine, who uh, mostly did pachinko games. Uh, Iru, uh, it is... Well, I've just said it is a uh, first-person uh, 3D horror adventure, uh, much more uh, point-and-click than uh, a Resident Evil, uh, though there are a few survival horror elements. They are very, very few and far between. This is a fairly safe game. Uh, I just wrote this up for the folks over at Hardcore Gaming 101 uh, for their ongoing um, uh, Japanese Obscurities uh, column. Uh, and serendipities, serendipitously... Uh, as soon as my uh, piece came out, um, uh, Snowy Aria uh, announced that um, their uh, fan translation uh, under the name uh, They're Here uh, was also ready and uh, uh, available for everybody to enjoy. Um, so I have played through this a number of times in Japanese. We are going to be playing through the uh, patched version so uh, everybody else can see what's going on. Um, my own Japanese is very, very limited. I have been, I've played through this with, uh, uh, with a dictionary in hand uh, and I can parse maybe about 50% of it and the rest of the time is looking up kanji. <laughs> um, so uh, I am by no means uh, an, an expert at the Japanese language, far from it. Uh, but we can all uh, enjoy this together <laughs> in English. Uh, Iru is a um, very untranslatable title. Uh, their here is probably the best way that you could do it. So hats off to Snowy Aria and their team. Um, Iru denotes the presence of a uh, living thing uh, in a space. Uh, so uh, I would have gone with uh, it's here, but uh, their here is actually uh, much more accurate and uh, uh, smarter. Uh, so. Uh, we're going to try and get through this as quickly as we can. Uh, this is a very, very quick game to get through. Um, it does confound the player by... Uh, it doesn't signpost what it wants you to do. Um, it, the flags are very, very arbitrary, and it expects you to run back and forth between characters to see what has changed. Um, it, it really That really pads things out. So your first playthrough, you'll probably finish in like five or six hours generously. Um, and if you know exactly what you're doing and you are hitting all of the flags, uh, you can probably do it in about two hours. I'm hoping that we'll do it in two hours. Uh, there are a few uh, emulation bugs uh, that have come with the patch. Um, they're a little bit few and far between, and uh, it's a little bit random if they are going to pop or not. Uh, so we're going to do a, a safety save uh, at uh, specific points. Um, but we're going to try and do this as quick as we can. It's going to be a hoot, uh, and uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, so I'm just going to put my game window over my face <laughs> so I'm not distracted. And there they are, folks. Takara. You know them. You love them. They make toys. They don't make games. But they've, pub they've published some games in their day. Dun. 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 They're here. This is a Lovecraft horror game. Um, well, it's more than Lovecraft. Um, it, it's not... It's not Lovecraft inspired. It's explicitly Lovecraft, but it is uh, Cthulhu mythos as a whole. Uh, it draws from uh, Robert Chambers, August Derleth, uh, all of the uh, um, all of the uh, uh, other authors who were kind of uh, inducted into uh, Lovecraft's uh, world after the fact. Uh, it's a very very silly hodgepodge and a uh, kind of a, an homage or tribute uh, to. Uh, to the Cthulhu mythos, but we'll we'll see. And I will start the timer after the intro. Ai Kawa, we're Inaba, and we are observing a spooky scene in a dream. A goddess statue, a chapel. Gracious me. Is this a premonition? No, I've seen this before. I have to do something. Oh, you made a big old mess. Don't get ketchup on the statue. Can't do nothing. It's a bad moon rising, folks. 
and I'm happy that you're here rising alongside me. Hi, Kawa. We've got Aikawa sending us messages. Inaba, please listen. Something terrible is happening at this school. Those who believe in the heretical teachings are about to release an ancient evil sealed in this island. Oh, just need to sort my windows out. Sorry, folks. Inaba, run away. Run as far away as you can. When the moon is gone, it'll be too late. What? I don't understand. I'm just a dude. You're the only one that I could reach. But... There's no more time. Hurry and escape with everyone. Otherwise, I don't know why I've given this girl this um, kind of Vincent Price-esque voice of wait, but I... All right, we're almost ready to start the timer. Inaba, Earth to Inaba. Come on, wake up. Wake up already. We are Tatsuya Inaba. Those legs go all the way up. And this is our love interest, Yuma. Uh, we are students at Kirigaoka High School on foreboding Kirigaoka Island. It is the night before the school cultural festival. Have a good nap. We have things to do. And we are trying to make a takoyaki stand. Somehow we have just slept on the floor, just sprawled out while Yuma's doing all the work. And we had that dream again. The same what? Sorry, just talking to myself. Yuma, do you know a girl named Aikawa? Aikawa? Oh, do you mean the principal's granddaughter? I heard she transferred schools. She didn't tell anyone why either. She just one day up and left. Maybe she didn't really transfer. Did you say something? No, it's nothing. By the way, where's everyone else? I don't know. We have been ditched by our classmates. Trying to build a takoyaki stand in peace. Everyone's so irresponsible. Do what we can. Okay. The game begins. Let's start the timer. All right. First order of business. We're going to grab this crowbar from over here for later. Better believe we're going to need it. Uh, we're going to leave Yuma to her devices. We're not going to help. Uh, and she's going to... Oh, there's Miss Hojo. Ah, uh, there you are. Um, now, some of these cutscenes, we can't mash our way through the uh, dialogue, so they'll have to play out. Miss Hojo has been looking for Yuma Ichinomiya, and listen to that wet sound her heels make. Goodness gracious. Doesn't sound good. Can't start the uh, student body proceedings without this student body. I hate to interrupt when you're so busy here. So, Miss Hojo, as you can tell from her dark hair, dark suit, and dark eyes, perhaps there's something up with her. We're having spooky dreams. A girl went missing. Some kind of dark ritual's gonna happen. Uh, and they're gonna go do student council stuff together. Duh, sorry, Inaba. I promise I'll come right back when I'm done with everything. Oh, right, Mochizuki. And Hirose should still be here, so bring them back and have them help, too. You got this. Yeah, we do. So off she goes. And... Off we go. Alright, next order of business. And run this way. Down the hall. We are on the third floor. There's Hirose. He's uh, large and hungry. Um, because this game is very sensitive like most Japanese games are, about plus-size characters. Um, he only talks about food. Uh, and we're just going to ignore him for now. And we are going to go up to the roof terrace. Not going to play any hoops. We're going to go to the observatory. And something's tinkling. And somebody's throwing their marbles at us. What's the deal? These control The controls of this game are a bit iffy. They're kind of Kingsfield-esque. Uh, and that the shoulder buttons are uh, strafe and look up and down. Just did not figure out the old uh, 3D movement for quite a long time. Did consoles. Okay, so we've got our blue marble. 
Uh, and here we're going to play a little bit of flag ping pong. First order of business. To the art club. Oh, in we go. And there is Mochizuki with his big Harlan Ellison glasses and his quiff. Miss Hojo, please tell me what happened to Masayoshi. I'm begging you. I'm sorry, Mochizuki. I don't know anything. Goodness me. Please believe me. I'd tell you if I knew anything about your brother. I swear. No. No. Off she goes, butt heels, uh, slapping down the hallway. <laughs> uh, okay, first order of business. I keep saying first order of business. <laughs> I, not every order of business can be the first order. Um, the next order of business. We're taking the principal's portrait away. You don't need that. Mochizuki, you can just hang out in there. Because uh, we are going to go bother Miss Hojo in her office. I guess she's an art teacher. They never really say. Uh, but because she hangs out in the art teacher's office. What happened with Mochizuki? Uh, how much do you know? So, uh, she... Uh, Knows something about Mochizuki's brother who vanished. Uh, he disappeared. He was in love with her. She wouldn't reciprocate, or so she says. And now Mochizuki is mad at her. I would be too. Uh, well, I'm not sure. It's weird that she just off the cuff says to another student, "Yeah, he uh, he was this this uh, classmate of yours, or this uh, older student. He was in love with me." Mochizuki, how's it going? You feeling better? Uh, your brother's not going to come back, even if you yell at the ladies, Mochizuki. Get it together. Um, a mysterious book, De Vermis Mysteris, has been found in uh, Hojo's uh, uh, locked bookshelf, uh, which uh, Mochizuki's brother, that was his copy, and for some reason she has it. So Mochizuki is suspicious. As to what's going on? Okay. From like eighth order of business now. <laughs> uh, we're gonna head back to classroom three four, uh, where our takoyaki stand waits. Your sherry awaits, madam. It's full of octopus balls. <sighs> we can duck. I'm not gonna do that right now. Ducking does not have really any point other than standing in front of the mirror and uh, watching yourself duck up and down, uh, because this game has working mirrors. It's lovely. Uh, chasing after dead dudes. This is Hikawa. He's kind of a bully. Um, he is uh, tormenting Mochizuki, saying, uh, Hey, you're chasing your dead brother, huh? He is... Um, well, we'll see what's up with uh, Hikawa. But he doesn't seem like a nice dude, does he? We're pals, right? <laughs> Look at his weird body. Look at, his hi Look at everybody's hinged uh, elbows. Just fantastic. Absolutely great. Let that poot go already. Oh, he's got a foul mouth, too. He's gonna give him a big old kiss. You kiss your friends with that mouth? Inaba. That's us. Uh, a lot of this game is uh, walking in on awkward conversations <laughs> and then uh, making people leave. Poof. We chased him off. Uh, we did Mochizuki a solid. So now, can anybody guess? It's back to the art room, baby. We are going to be spending a lot of time going back and forth uh, between locations and the art room. At least for this first leg of the game. Ah. <laughs> I really like this game, mostly for camp appeal. It's not really a compelling experience. I can't just confess my feelings after, after, after all. But you've got to do something. Enid is graduating this year. Uh, I feel my ears are burning, and so are my loins. Uh, you'll regret it if you don't even try. Just throw caution to the wind and do it. I believe in you. Oh, I know, but why would he ever want me when you was around? Uh, you rang, ladies. Whoa! What's up? Did you come to see? Uh, why are you still on campus? 
Uh, we're both staying on campus late into the night to work on preparations. Just like you, Inaba. We're just taking a quick break from all the work, right, Rie? Uh, and uh, Rie is obviously in love with us, as you can see from this dialogue that we've listened in on. Uh, Kyoko is trying to be her wing lady. Uh, and it's not really working because Rie is a um, uh, nervous little nerd. Quite, quite a cute character. Um, got a soft spot for old Rie. But um, let's leave these, leave these ladies alone. Uh, now then, we can head back down this way. Uh, we're gonna go to the career center where uh, Yuma should be. Hey, Hirose, enjoy looking out the window. Thinking about bread. Uh, where Yuma should be doing student council activities. Whoa! Almost got stuck on uh, Misa there. Misaki, I think her name is. Who, uh, we're not gonna talk to you right now. She's not helpful. She is Hikawa's girlfriend, and Hikawa's up to some dirty business. See what I mean about walking in on people? There's a whole lot more of this going on. Seems like Yuma's having a very bad day. You are no gentleman. No, sir. What a big jerk. You like her, don't you? She's mine. Step off, twit. Oh! Uh, a nice uh, slap on the chest. An open palm slap on the chest. Uh, I'm going to read that as... Uh, there's Yuma. Uh, she's going to the art club office, she says. So that is a uh, one of the few hints that we get of where to go next. Um, but in fact, we're not going to go there next <laughs> because this is that kind of game. There's Misa talking to her boyfriend, Kazuki Hikawa. Shut up. I'm a man. Real jerk. Not nice to the ladies. Not nice to anybody. But uh, more of that later. Let's just let him uh, bungle off, leave Misa in the dust, pop in the clutch. I'm not gonna bother talking to her. You don't need our you don't need our shoulder to cry on. But here he is again. Hey man, do me a favor, will you? Come on, it'll only take a second. This is sorry. I need to hurry back so we can finish up. It's already dinner time. See what I mean? <laughs> And when you talk to him, it's like, oh, I need to eat my bread. Ooh, high kicks. A real rocket of a uh, boy. You didn't hear me? You see, I don't like it when people don't listen. That's not what I meant. I never said I wouldn't do it. That's more like it, buddy. What are these two up to? Hmm. Rocking back and forth like a bird drinking water. His hand looks like a bird that's going to drink some water. Okay, well, Hirose, I'm not even going to ask. I'm just going to leave you to it. You seem to know what you're doing. Oh! Surprise principal. Ow! <laughs> Be careful. Uh, keep doing a good job. And then he's just going to walk away. Very scary. He usually rushes us out of here, and running into him felt like running into a truck. Uh, so we're not going to go into the art office, even though that's where Yuma said she's going. Because she won't be there. We go in here first. Talk to the girls at the sink. Again. <laughs> Where's Yuma? And uh, Kyoko gets uh, very angry at us, because uh, she is defending the feelings of uh, Rie. And Rie is uh, ever magnanimous, and uh, wants to smooth things over. So that's fine. Um, they say they're going to come help us in room 3-4 uh, when they're done. And to let Miss Hojo know that they're nearly done with their art club duties. So now we have our trigger to go in here and... What's this? Walking in on another conversation. Look at that picture on the wall. Miss Hojo, psycho, answer my feelings. Remember that I know a lot of things about you. A lot of dirty, dirty things. Uh, Mr. Mori... Uh, he is, um, well, he's a bit of an incel, isn't he? Don't feign ignorance to stop me. Do something so far while acting in the noble role of a teacher. Uh, I'm the only one who knows, and I plan on keeping it that way if you catch my drift. And I think you do. Um, so she's telling him to back off, uh, because, um, Miss Hojo, for all her, um, 
mysterious uh, no gooderies, possible no gooderies that she's up to. We'll side with her over an incel creep anytime. Uh, but we've scared him off by showing up and opening the door. Because everybody is a scared. <laughs> everybody is a scared of our uh, milk toast boy. What's wrong with that guy? So we've talked to Miss Hojo. Guess what we're doing now? That's right. Back to the same girls. Uh, and something's not right, because the music's not all happy anymore. It's just regular spooky hallway music. Earth 3A. The moon is waning. Well, yeah, there's a lunar eclipse. Lunar eclipse. You're acting really off, you know. Uh, something's wrong with Rie. And should we ask Miss Hojo for advice? Maybe she can give her some counseling. So you know what that means. Head back to Miss Hojo. Back to Miss Hojo in the art club office, who's <laughs> walking in on another conversation. These guys get around. Ooh, a very cryptic conversation going on between Miss Hojo and the principal. Hmm, do you understand? Yes, I'm sorry, sir. Wet heels pounding the pavement. Oh, uh, you should knock. Oh, sorry, Mr. Principal. Off he goes. He's not going to run into us this time. Miss Hojo? Uh, what are you in here for? Rie's having a bad time. You want to help her out? Uh, most definitely not. So, not helpful. Not helpful one bit. Uh, we need the reference room now, which I think is... Yes, it's just past the art club. So we're going to go in here. Where Mochizuki is peeking at books. Uh, come help us, Mochizuki. And he's like, no, I got a headache. Leave me alone, you dweebs. I hate y'all. Um, so he's having uh, not a great time. He's having some headaches. That's uh, that's what we call foreshadowing, folks. What's going to happen to old Mochizuki? What's going to happen to us? Uh-oh. There's been a power cut. Got to wait for our eyes to adjust to the darkness. That's enough for now. And what's going on here? Kyoko, Rie has barricaded herself in the toilets. And we asked, did you have a fight in the dark? And they're like, no. <laughs> Why would we have a fight in the dark? What are you talking about? Uh, so go get Miss Hojo. Go do it. Uh, and we are going to make a safety save here. Because uh, since this game has been patched, um, this has a... Uh, this sometimes locks up at this point. And we don't want to lose our 15 minutes and 29 seconds, do we? Certainly not. Beautiful. Okay. Safety save done. Uh, let's go see Miss Hojo. Oh, that's the music club room. Can, can never get in there. Ain't no time for music. Miss Hojo. Looking at books in the dark, are we? No. Hojo, it's bad. Help me out. Rie's having a bad time. And Miss Hojo, uh, like a lot of the teachers, in fact, all of the teachers in this game, completely completely useless. She's like, yeah, 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 I'll be there in a minute. You uh, you go talk to those girls again. And I'll, um, when I'm done looking at these books in the dark, I'll be right over. What's going on on the pot? Rie, inside the bathroom. Well, we're intruding into the forbidden chamber, the ladies' toilets. Rie, open the door! Rie! Kyoko! Hinaba, where's Miss Hojo? She's not coming, she sent me! Up! Boop! Oh! I. That graphical glitch looks like this game is locked up. No, no! Good, thank goodness. Rie, what have you done to Kyoko? Sounds like she just punched her. Did she punch um, a hole through her chest? Well, now she's broken her neck. Oof. Oof! We have our first casualty. And along with our first casualty comes our first um, action sequence. Rie! Don't grab me. Uh, and every time uh, something like this happens, you automatically run into the next room. Uh, and then you have uh, until the character gets to the door to find a hiding spot. And the hiding spot here is this very obvious cardboard box. 
So we're going to get in that. Just to crumple ourselves up like an old doll. Like yesterday's news. And here comes Rie. Uh, and that's it. We've successfully evaded her. <laughs> this is a very low-stakes horror adventure. Sinister, huh? She's a mess. Hubba hubba. Those uh, ball-jointed knees. Oh, no! Nope, guess I'll leave. I saw him go in here. Certainly he's, surely he's not in this box. That would be too silly. Well, we've uh, solid snaked our way out of this sticky situation. And there we go. Um, our first challenge done. And the danger has appeared. Things are going to get a little spooky in this school. Uh, I don't know about you, uh, I am recording this in uh, high July in London, and it is sweltering. Thank you very much, Global Warming. Uh, what do we need to do next? Uh, we're going to go to back to the bathroom. Whoop. And we're going to inspect the mess. It's gone! Did we imagine all of it? Are we hallucinating? Look at us. We can do this. We can eat up some time doing this. Aren't we cute? Okay, but... The door is firmly attached, as if it didn't get knocked off the hinges. So that's mysterious. Let's get out of here. And there's Mochizuki going back into the reference room. Let's go hassle him. Oh, look at that. He's got a, doing a, a good old Aleister Crowley pose. Uh, looks like his head is uh, that hat as well. Uh, ooh, Mochizuki, where am I? Something is up with our buddy Mochizuki, and he's just gonna shove us out of the day. Shove us, shove us out of the day? Shove us out of the way. Okay, so something's up with him. Could it be related to his headaches? I'm gonna say yes. And he's asking us, where is he? We're at Kirigaoka High School, what's your deal? He's like, well, I've returned. So th something is definitely up. He's not acting like himself at all. Okay, so, we're going to head to the art office, go see Miss Hojo again. Uh, graphics have kind of glitched out here. That will happen from time to time. Uh, what do we have? Uh, Rie and Kyoko, and she, she just doesn't care. <laughs> She's like, no, no, I said I was going to check on them later. Okay. Uh, so, um... And I think we talked to her again. You look flustered. Now, I think... Mochizuki might be back in the reference room. No, he is... He has moved on. Uh-oh. But I've lost the thread. Maybe in the art club. <laughs> As I said, some of the triggers in this game are very, very arbitrary. Uh, but we've got things moving now. So... Well, we'll keep on keeping on. And if we head over this way... That's our mulleted friend. What's his name? He shows up later. Speaking to him for the sake of it. Uh, Nakanishi! He is uh, very confused uh, by these desks. Look at that. Oh, it phased through the floor. Okay. Uh, so now we're running around asking people if they have seen um, Kyoko and Rie. And this is what we want here. The God of Royale! Uh, the Cthulhu... Uh, the Cthulhu factoids have started! The Cthulhu... Uh, Cthulhu themes. Uh, so this uh, tells us that if we put the pearl of Grillier in our mouth, we can read mysterious books. And could that pearl be 
this blue marble. It absolutely is. Uh, so we've got that. And now... We've got that, I think. Things will start to move in the meeting room. Nope, not yet. Okay, back to classroom 3-4. We'll have our fun in the meeting room soon. And boy, what a time we'll have. <laughs> We're blazing through it. We're blazing through it. I think the first first couple of times I played this, this opening sequence was like that we've done in 23 minutes. This couple hours. Oh, Hirose waddling over. God, are you okay, buddy? <laughs> I mean, I know you're a man of carriage, but I don't think you should be walking like that. He's looking for Mochizuki. Well, I don't know. But Hikawa asked Hirose to lead Mochizuki to the meeting room. What's that about, huh? Can't say I've seen any girls. Gotta go. A jolly boy. That's a very dainty wave. That's like the Queen's wave. Oh, God, I thought my cat was on the floor next to me. It is actually my shorts. You better believe I'm sitting here in my underoos. It's so hot. <laughs> Not going to show that on camera, though. Okay. Let's see if we can... I think much as if you may have returned to the reference room by now. Spooky tunes. I love these um, awkward PS1 horror games so much. I absolutely love their aesthetics, uh, their themes. Love everything about them. Uh, not here yet, huh? Okay. <laughs> fine. Fine, 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 fine. Well, Hirose, if you like meeting rooms, we go in there with you? That's not locked anymore. And what is this? <laughs> oh, no! Yeah! Some uh, tongue action for Hirose. Ooh, look at that. Uh, well, that's one way to die it, but that seems very insensitive. It's his fault for approaching something like that haphazardly. It seems he didn't know about the Hounds of Tindalos either. Another, uh... Is that Lovecraft? I think that might be Durleth. Uh, what the hell was that? A Hound of Tindalos? They come from the corners of time. Those crazed, bloodthirsty beasts live in those unimaginable places. Danger lurks in the long past corners of time. Things that no one should know. That mirror on the ground is called Nautron's Mirror. When activated, you can view the past. But those things live in the past. Just seeing them makes you a target for their hunt. They'll chase you to the ends of the earth without question. Your death will be inevitable. The mirror will still be active for a while longer. I can't say I recommend testing it out. Uh, if you want to die, we can go pick up the mirror immediately. Uh, but we're not going to do that. Not just yet, anyway. <laughs> still, I'm impressed someone used this murder as a murder. This mirror is a murder weapon. Uses someone's curiosity against them. Even if they know what it does, they might look anyway. It's a bit extravagant, though, for my taste. Mochizuki, what the jeez? Everybody's foul-mouthed in this patch. Uh, and Mochizuki does not recognize us except for somebody that he just met in the reference room. Uh, he does not know us as his loving friend Inaba. He just knows us as some dude from the reference room. Uh, so that means he is in the reference room. Anything happening over here yet? Nope, not yet. And Nakanishi is gone missing. He'll show up again. He's got a very uh, Don Johnson in Miami Vice hairdo. Or maybe Daryl Hall. Uh, love Hall and Oates. There's Mochizuki, or whoever he is. What's up? What the heck? And now he's back to normal. He's like, uh, hey, Hirose's dead. What are you talking about? My buddy. Uh, so he's having a tough time in the old brain. Poor guy. Um... He thinks that we're lying, uh, and he's cursing at us. So, Mochizuki, you better not be faking DID on TikTok, my friend, because uh, you will be ripe for a cancellation. Uh, let's go back and see Miss Hojo, who, uh, uh, 
gonna be Rie. Scary. Oh no. We're gonna hide in the hide in the locker. Just automatically. And the textures have glitched out, but that's just fine. So that looks like Hikawa, and there's a woman's voice. How are preparations going? Things are progressing smoothly. Do not worry yourself. I'll be preparing for the final ritual. The rest is up to you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Make sure you do your best. I'll be reaping the rewards myself, however. Hmm, very mysterious. Miss Hojo, could you be in on it? Hello, Justina. Okay, so out we go. And... Anything? Anything? Nope. Well. We'll head down the hallway ever so slightly. There's Miss Ojo. That's what we wanted to happen. And we will follow her back. Uh, Miss Hojo, Hirose's been killed. You saw it too, huh? Inaba, why do you say he's dead? Um, and she is very shady. It'd be bad if everyone was panicking, so please don't tell anybody that you saw a monster uh, eat your fellow student. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, wetly toddle my, my way back to my office, uh, which is here. Oh, I think Justina's making some udon. And there she is, nursing a headache at her desk. What's going on? Ah, Masayoshi, this is all my fault. Oh. oh, I couldn't make it all out, but Masayoshi is Mochizuki's brother's name, right? Yep. So, guess we'll leave. Okay. So, she seems to know more than she has been letting on. Who would have thunk it with the way she's been behaving? Let's go see Mochizuki again and tell, tattle on, uh, tattle on Hojo. Mochman! Uh, he is, uh, apologizing for his, uh, rude behavior. And now he believes us. Because uh, he's had some time alone. And time cures all wounds. Uh, so, uh, as we know, Hirose was asked by Hikawa to send Mochizuki into the meeting room. Uh, so he was the target for the Hound of Tindalos. Very scary, huh? And Hirose died for his sins. Poor Hirose, he didn't know what was up. Uh, so we're gonna head back down this hallway where the desks have gone, but a magic circle, you say? And there's Nakanishi with his beautiful hair. Hey, Inaba, the desks are gone. We can finally escape. Oh, buddy, don't look behind you. Nakanishi, behind you. Uh-oh. Oh, holy smokes. Well, to be honest, I'd be cursing in this situation as well. That is a shaga. And that is something that we're going to run away from. It's not going to chase us. It can only appear in that magic circle. So, uh, and even if we get near it, it will not kill us. Um, so back to Mochizuki, who might have a plan for us. Hey, Mochizuki. And he says he's he's the different character now. Or he's the different personality. There's a Shoggoth. You want to do something about it? Uh, give him some food, why don't you? Um, so he is just saying, come on, look, trust me. Trust me explicitly. I uh, do not care. Hey. Now, hopefully. There it is. That is the key that we need to uh, room 35, which has just appeared in the world uh, because we've uh, triggered the flag. Uh, so, we're going to go to room 35. Down the hall here. Past our room. And there's a stinky smell. 
coming from this office. Uh, oh, we need to use it like an inventory item. There we go. We've unlocked the door. In we go. And what's that stink? Who wants to play? What's that smell? Um, might have something to do with this box where we are going to use our crowbar that we picked up at the very start of the game. Incredible. And what's in there? Oh, who put this in the classroom? A stinky jar of meat. Looks like there's some hands in there. Some ribs. I love some baby back ribs. Gotta apply the sweet baby rays. I'm stuck on the architecture. Whoa, get me out of here. I am uh, menaced by desks. You ever have that dream when you're back in school and there's a jar of meat and you're naked? Yeah, me too. Every night. So, um, we have our big jar of meat. And let's go to that Shaga. Just schlubin, schlubin, schlubin in the hallway. See, if we can't get too close. They don't let us. But my man, have a jar of meat. And we are going to step back and the Shaga can uh, eat itself uh, to uh, better health. It's uh, shrunk and disappeared. So, now we can go down to the second floor. We're no longer trapped on the third floor. So, the school has begun to open up. Um, so, we're gonna go towards the center of the school for now. Where, oh, that's another circle. What's going on here? Nah, oh, shucks. Look at that nasty guy. And this is our next gate. Uh, that we currently can do nothing with. Uh, so now we want to go down to the first floor. We can get around. We can get around all over town. Oh, who's dead? What the heck? Mochizuki. Uh, so Mochizuki seems to have just come to in front of this dead student. Uh, his consciousness faded, and when he woke up, he was here in front of a dead guy. Hopefully, Mochizuki's uh, altar <laughs> altar um, isn't uh, killing people. I'm not making fun of people who genuinely have a DID. I would never do that, uh, but there is a uh, grotesque trend on TikTok at the moment uh, where teenagers are uh, pretending to have uh, multiple personalities in a very uh, anime, uh, anime and game inspired way. Uh, can't leave the school. So, now we're down here. We're going to go to the principal, principal's office for now. And let me tell you, this principal loves himself and loves other principals. So he's got portraits of the principals up in his room. And we're going to put the missing one back. So there we go. And uh, that is a very insecure security system. Where, oh gosh, these textures. It's, it's a really ugly glitch. Uh, where we get some uh, little blue bag uh, from within the wall. The principal stash, if you will. Uh, oh, we're not going to leave just yet, because there's also a key in here. You better believe it, baby. It's a golden key, and that golden key has a gem on it. Um, and uh, if we were very, very astute and we were uh, observing everything in our way, we would have noticed that... Uh, um, the uh, bookshelf in Miss Hojo's office uh, is a golden bookshelf with a uh, gem on the lock. And now we have a golden key with a gem on it. Uh, so, next, before we go up and unlock that door, um, we are going to go to the science club. Uh, oh, nope, not yet. Hmm. Uh, okay, fine. We're gonna go. Up to, we're gonna go up to Miss Hojo's office, and we are gonna open that door. Uh oh. Oh. No. Never mind. Hey, is that Yuma? It is Yuma. What are you doing? 
Huh. Uh, one of my favorite bits in this game. Um, we, uh, we haven't done it for the interest of time, uh, but in the principal's office, there is a copy of The King in Yellow, the uh, uh, mythical uh, cursed play. Look at that deep one. Look at his fat little belly and his short little legs. Uh, there's a copy of, of uh, the uh, cursed play, The King in Yellow, from the uh, Robert W. Chambers anthology of the same name. Uh, and you can read that. And uh, it's not a game over, but you it, it starts to suggest that you're going mad. Um, and it's just a bit of flavor text, but it's fun. I have a lot of uh, strong, uh, positive feelings towards The King in Yellow. But we're hiding from a deep one. Look at him, he's sauntering in like, oh boy, it's a living. Ay, 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 I hate my job. Look at my tiny little feet. How do they support this body? Not easily, that's how. Give me a break. Uh, so that is our second uh, action sequence of Yuru. There are not many. <laughs> Believe you me, there are not many. Okay. Well, I think it's safe for us to come out. Uh, contrary to scenes like that, uh, Deep Ones and other beasties are not roaming the hallways. You may have guessed that already. This is purely uh, inventory and trigger based. Uh, we do not, this is not like White Day or Clock Tower. Uh, we do not have foes that we have to actively uh, uh, evade or foes who will uh, show up after a certain amount of time has passed. It is uh, purely uh, flag-based. So we are safe as houses in this spooky, spooky school. So, um, we have our... Oh, we've jumped the gun a bit. We have jumped the gun a tiny bit. If we go back up here, I think uh, Miss Hojo is still going to be uh, sobbing in her office and we won't be able to get to her bookshelf. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is we want to go into the library office. We love our libraries, don't we, folks? Support your local library. Uh, and there's Mochizuki. He knows. Um, oh, oh, he's losing consciousness. That is the Mochizuki uh, side piece. The <laughs> side piece? <laughs> Alternate personality that is in the know. And we're going to get some trash out of here. And before we leave, that is another bookshelf identical to the one in Miss Hojo's office. So we're going to unlock that. And we're going to get this spooky, spooky book. Look at this big old tome. Beautiful. What's that, Berserk Volume 5? Uh, Demon of la Libri Tre. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not. Uh, and we've also picked up some trash. The torn page. I'm going to read the torn page quickly. Uh, we put the blue jewel in our mouth, and then we can read it. Uh, spell incantations with no context. Well, that's fine. Uh, we'll get our context. Next order of business. Oh, that udon smells so good. I can't wait to have some of that after I finish this. Think you could bowl me up when it's time? My hero. I love you. There's Miss Hojo. What's she doing? Look at her little uh, chin. Her her little... Uh, the bit under her... Uh, under her lip. Is uh, moving in and out like a frog. All the filth in the world will be purged. Oh, no! All my suffering, my sadness, all will be washed away. Oh, Miss Hojo, you're sounding a little... You're sounding a little fascist there. So I'm just going to turn around and uh, leave you to your weird sobbing about your god and wiping away the filth. See, the Elder Gods themselves, scary, scary, but ambivalent. They don't really mean harm. Well, most of them. They're just, uh, they're just, their, their existence drives humans to madness and death. And then they can stomp on you and uh, snuff you out. Uh, it's their worshippers who are truly scary. Ain't that the truth? So, let's go to the crafting station. Oh, that's the crafting office. We want the crafting club. Let's make some crafts. 
Oh, God. No, sir. No. I command you in the master's name. You call yourself before. Abhorreth's anger. Oh, Hikawa. Rude dude. Um, well, I guess he s saved us, but with like a weird spell. What's that about? And he's just left. So. That means enough time has passed for us to head back upstairs to Miss Hojo's room again, because the, you know this game is all about Miss Hojo and her office. And hey, wouldn't you be? She's a real tomato. I'm sorry, folks. Um, art office, art office, art office. So we got some things that we want to collect. She's gone. Um, it's funny, um, you, uh, cannot... Oh, grimoires, huh? Hmm, it's very spooky. Lots of tomes. Um, uh, Inaba is too much of a good boy to go through her desk, uh, but we can see that there's a photo album there with... Who is that? Hojo, Masayoshi, and Kamiyama. Who could that be? Well, we got a key to your bookshelf. So let's open up that bad boy. And what's this? Uh, another fine Tonkabon of my favorite manga, uh, Golf uh, Lord. Uh, De Vermis Mysteris, the uh, book that Mochizuki mentioned was uh, in the possession of his brother and ended up in Miss Hojo's office. So, let's go back and see Mochizuki, shall we? He's talking about, whoop, oh, he's talking about spells. Spells bells. Uh, and he will be in the library office. Oh, and there he is, hiding in the corner like a loon. Inaba, I'm glad you're safe. It's the real one. And look, he's got uh, le he's got letters. He's been writing himself letters saying, Hey, I'm borrowing your body. Uh, hope you don't mind. Stay calm. Uh, so they are writing letters to themselves back and forth. We can find some of their letters uh, as uh, as the game goes on. I don't think we actually need to pick any up uh, to uh, complete this game. Uh, it is a... Um, it's just flavor text. Uh, but he's no help right now uh, because he's our friend and not a weird body hopper. So... Hmm, so what now? Library's still locked up, huh? Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, oh! I see. I see, I see, I see. I've got a list here of all the little flags that we got to hit. Uh, our next flag. We're gonna head back downstairs. We're gonna go to the exit. S gingerly stepping over this body. La la la. We didn't know him anyway. It's fine. And... Mr. Mori! What happened? Oh, you know, I meant to interact with Mr. Mori, and I interacted with the save terminal. The save blackboard instead. Sorry, terminal. I've been playing a lot of SMT. Uh, we'll make a safety save just in case. Uh, things could, you know, go tits up at any moment. Ooh, that's not a nice phrase. That's what they say here in the UK. It's a crude country. Uh, Mr. Mori! He's dead. He says the principal did it. And there's Mochizuki! It's like, hey, Mochizuki. Check out, uh, check out Mr. Mori. Don't touch him. Gracious me. It's all as the memo said. Uh, if we follow the instructions of the memo. So, uh, now Mochizuki has steeled his resolve. And we can, we'll pick up one of his notes just for fun, shall we? What are you planning? Uh, and that note basically says, Hey, what are you doing with my body? I'm Mochizuki. I like my big quiff. I like my uh, Harlan Ellison sunglasses. And I like my life uncomplicated, if you catch my drift. So, uh... Get out of my skin! And... Hmm. What's that sound? Sounds like lunch. Who's in the library? Here we go. 
Who do you think it'll be, folks? Um, there could be a spell book in the library, because that's what they have here. Oh, it's a deep one eating the dude. But that's okay, because we can just crouch under here. Uh, emulation problems be damned. And we're going to pick up the Book of Abun. Now then. Um, and we're not going to talk to that deep one. He doesn't need our love. Uh, we're going to read the Book of Abun. Uh, which uh, will put the Pearl of Rivia in our mouth. Uh, the dark depths of Earth comes the formless spawn, and you can chant a spell, but the spell has been torn out of the book. Where did we find a torn page? We found a torn page in our inventory that we found in the bin. It was found in the Book of Aben. Uh, so, go over here. Too dangerous to get closer, but you better believe we got a torn page. That was, oh, that's not it. It's going to send this guy packing. Place the blue jewel in your mouth and recite the spell written in the Book of Avon. Backwards! Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Thanks, uh... My sweet little bow. And there we go. The rest of the school is now open to us, for the most part. For the most part. There's the big clock. Uh, oh, we're stuck on the clock. Stuck on the uh, barrier to the clock. Now then. Next order of business, we need to find some more powders. We got blue powder. We need some other primary colored powder. Uh, ooh, a maze. I love a good maze uh, for uh, the school cultural festival. Don't you? Uh, oh, that is not a good prize at the end of that maze. Uh, that's a, a lousy prize indeed. Uh, but he's got a big red jewel. Uh, so we're going to take that. This poor guy doesn't even get a name. He's got cool hair though, doesn't he? be in a goth band. Um, and we're done. Now then, uh, that's the ladies' room. Nope. That's, that's the ladies' room. That's the locker room. Uh, we need to go to the storage room, which I think is over here. Yes, it is. And in the storage room, we find a jack. Uh, that's not a jack. That's a wooden shelf with a cardboard box on it. Uh, we're going to pick up this jack because we're going to jack up our life. Okay. Now then. Down to the other side of the first floor. And while we're down here, don't need to go into any of these classrooms yet. Um, but we can see that there's a shutter that is half cocked. And we're going to use our jack to raise it up as much as we can. Not very much, because we're lazy. We are definitely an underachiever. And I believe this is the single use for crouching in this entire game, is getting under here. Uh, I could be wrong. I'm not as familiar with the back half as I am with this first half. Um, so we might need to use it again, but I'm... I think that's it. And what's this? There's a jewel-shaped hole in this wall. Let's put our jewel in it. Wouldn't you? And uh, you'll see this was... Uh, I failed to mention. Looks like the chapel from the intro, doesn't it? With the weird goddess statue. Who's the goddess? Aha! Uh -huh. A secret room. A uh, very... Uh, a mage's room. The mage's quarters. Every school has one. What's this? Freaking Harry Potter? Uh, there we have uh, the yellow uh, powder. And we have a porcelain vase. Now then, uh, we can just leave very easily. We're not trapped in here. It's, it's glitched out textures. Don't, I don't love it. <laughs> uh, and we're done in there, for now anyway. So... There should be a sealed room the north side of the first floor. Which is not this side. I believe we're on the south side of the school. So we need to go up. And then... take the uh, walkway across to the other side. These school buildings. What a pain. Am I right? 
Look at this. We're coming up to our first hour, and we are already... I would say over halfway through this. Oof. Uh, oh, I think the shutter is down on that side, so I think we need to go through... Uh, I think we need to go this way to get to the first floor. I'm going to feel very silly if the shutter is up. But that's okay. So, uh, once again, ignoring our uh, fallen uh, classmate. Uh, we can talk to the nurse if we want. She is cowering in the corner. <laughs> Pretty much for the whole game. No help at all. And what is with this weird room? Uh-oh, it's spooky in here. There's a weird picture. And there's a weird statue. What do you do with a weird statue? You give it a vase. You say, hey. You mind holding this for me for a moment? Oh, no. What would you do with this? What would you do with uh, a statue's bloody tears that you've collected in a vase? Would you drink it? Would you... Splash it. Let's see, the shutter is uh, down. I was right. Would you splash it on your face? Uh, give yourself a little bit of a bathery facial? Well, can you guess what we're going to do? It involves going upstairs. Like everything does. <laughs> um, we are going to run along the hallway. To Science Club. Because we have one heck of an experiment to carry out. There's a beaker here. Oh, I think we need to face it. There's a beaker here. You know, we picked up some matches earlier, right? But what if we um, poured this statue blood into this beaker and then we lit a match? Just throw caution to the wind. And it cooks down into a lovely red powder. Very flat. It's like a pepperoni. And we have our third powder. And we are going to snort that. No, we're not going to do that. This is a clean game. It's not really at all, is it? Um, so we need to go over to the other side of the school. Um, where you will remember there was like a, a, a magician's uh, powder uh, scale in that back room in the chapel. So you better believe that's where we're going next. Ugh. I love the, um, I love the, the paper streamers, or the paper bunting, as you will. As you will. As you will enjoy the bunting. Um, and we are crouching our, crouching our way back to you, babe. Um, hopefully not getting stuck on the architecture like I did just then. And we're going to run back into the chapel. Be like, hey, what's going on in here? Huh? Uh, and they make you use the jewel every time. Because of course they do. It's an adventure game. Don't you enjoy your interactivity, folks? Okay. Pop it in. Very nice. Uh, and in we go. And we're gonna use, we're gonna measure out our powders. First of all, put the red in. <laughs> I love that. Like we're not uh, <laughs> we're not actually doing anything. It's like, uh, why don't we just like put all of these on some cups, and then, and then that will do it. That will transmogrify them. We can spin it around a bit, maybe. Um, and then, oh, I think we need to. I think we need to read these books first. Like the Vermis Mysteris. Um, things that cannot be seen. Might be the Demon of Latreia. Invisible creatures will be uh, visible with the powder of Ibengazi. Yeah, I forgot to. Benghazi? Uh oh. Uh, I forgot to uh, read the book, and now we have the powder of Ibengazi. So.
Now uh, the game is very unclear about what they want you to do next. So all we can really do is go back upstairs. When are we going to see an invisible thing? I want to see it. I want to sprinkle it. And there we go. Um, we'll head back to the central area of the second floor. Hmm. Something should have happened there. Yeah, something should have triggered there. It, it didn't trigger, but that's fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, we have a few more flags that we need to trigger arbitrarily. There are a couple of routes through this game, um, and it's it's kind of easy to to mix up <laughs> what happens when. Uh, but we're gonna we're we're back up on the uh, third floor. And there's our, there's our trigger. There's Mochizuki. He's coming out of the art office, and he's going. Where do you think he's gone? He's going into his favorite place, the reference room. He loves books. You can tell by his glasses. How's it going? Inabo, look at this. Uh, I told Masayoshi everything. I thought maybe it would be okay. Now he's stuck with the flesh-eating monsters that live in the darkness of the underground caves. Fitting payback for his betrayal after he and the rest of the note was ripped apart. It's about my brother. He might still be alive. Uh, it was in the art club office. That implicates Hojo, doesn't it? Monsters who live in the underground cave beneath school. I've heard the rumors. <laughs> yeah, I've heard about that. I guess it might be real. We gotta escape, uh, but we are knocked to the floor. We get no respect. We're a regular, um, Raduni Danger Field. Um, so, that's done. We're going to go to the art club office. Where he's harassing Miss Hojo. Psycho, long time no see. I'm back. What are you talking about, Mochizuki? <laughs> You're planning to revive that thing, right? Is this revenge against the man who betrayed your love? Or anger against this cruel world? You're not Mochizuki, are you? Kamiyama! Ah, oh, I, I, you know. Hmm. You think that he'd be Masayoshi, but no. He is, uh, somebody a little bit more sinister than that. He doesn't want to interrupt. He just wants to be here to see it happen! He's not a friend at all. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. Sea, ble sea beams glitter. Uh, off... Cthulhu's buns. <laughs> well then, I'll be watching everything unfold very closely. The end of this world. No, the revival of this planet's true ruler! Uh, and I'm like, well, that was awkward. Didn't like that at all. No, sir. <laughs> And now I think we can head to the second floor and start triggering things. An hour in. You'd love to see it. We're nearly done. Well, I say that. I think we... Mm, we might get we might get here in less than an hour. Get through this in, in less than an hour. But usually... Mm, oh, there he is. Mochizuki, you beat us here. How'd you do that? Uh, the person inside me said if I found the D. Vermis Mysteris, they'd tell us how to escape from the school. Mm, I wonder if that's true. So we're going to give him the book. And then he is having his headache again, because he's the real Moch Mochizuki. The book isn't enough. Cone-shaped creatures. And we've got his locket. With my brother's photo. You gotta find him. Uh, poor guy. So... We just want him to disappear. We run down the hallway. He does. He spawns. 
Yes. And now Yuma's back. Yuma, what are you doing up there? Come on. I was desperately running away. I didn't focus on where I was running. Ah, you're okay too. Whoa, whoa, uh oh. No. Let's go find her. Help me, Inaba. You're my only help. Yuma! Yuma. Okay. Uh, well, she can only be one place. And that's the third floor. But where? I think our first order of business, as tempting as it is to check the art room, or the art office, we're gonna go back to where it all began. Back to room 3-4, where uh, Yuma and her supernatural companion, I'm certain, are kindly building a takoyaki stand for the school festival. Uh, oh, oh, oh. We've been huffing around a lot, haven't we? What a uh, time of night to be running around. <laughs> and there she is. Lovely music, but she's panting away. Yuma! Yuma! Inaba, Inaba! I ran here in a panic. I thought maybe I'd run into you here. I'm glad you're safe. Let's get out of here together. Did you see anyone else alive? Uh, I saw Hikawa, but he attacked me! That chump! Let's hurry. We shouldn't stay here any longer. Ow! She sprained her ankle just running. I'll carry you on my back. And she's like, you better not. Uh, I'm very shy. Uh, I'm going to go look for something for her ankle in the nurse's office. Better come back for me. I'm sure they got something for sprains. Some morphine. Oxycontin. What do they give kids for sprains these days? Oof, I am hungry for sopa. Or udon, rather. I'm hungry for udon. Can't wait. Can't wait. It's uh, the middle of the afternoon here. Uh, just after, well, mid middle of the afternoon is just after lunchtime. And here as I record this, in London town. Um, so the shutters that are down will never open, so we always need to uh, drag out the uh, duration by running across the school and uh, finding a uh, stairwell that we can actually descend. Whoa! And there we go. Nurse's office, nurse's office. Who's got the nurse's office? There it is. Oh! Crumbs. The prince! Hmm, I did just get one. I don't see anything wrong with seconds. Oh, he's made a mess of the nurse and himself. Uh, better just gingerly walk over to the staff room. Where are we going to hide? Yeah, he's coming. Let's uh, hide in the... Let's hide in here. <laughs> What's he up to? What's wrong with the school? It's full of jerks. <laughs> walking in like a zombie. He's walking in like Bernie. Oh no, there's a dead kid in here too. Walking in like Bernie and weekend at Bernie's too. We need some uh, we need some some calypso music playing. Mr. Sloppy Ketchup hands. He'll never know. We'll just keep bobbing up and down. We can give him a little wink from inside here. And we're eye to eye. Hush, hush. Uh, and off he goes. He's not not going to bother to open it, because they never do in this game. <laughs> Which, I, honestly, thank goodness for that. Can you imagine arbitrarily picking the wrong hiding spot? Uh, and then having to repeat, like, an hour? Because you didn't save? That would make this game irredeemable. Well, 
True. Safe. All good. Um, problem is, the nurse ain't gonna help us. Uh, so let's run all the way back upstairs and then over this way to get back to uh, Yuma in room 3-4 uh, and say, hey, 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 guess what I saw? Um, I don't have anything for your ankle, uh, but boy, oh boy, did I see a sloppy boy. A sloppy boy with his rhythm mustache coming after me, and I didn't much like it. Ugh, I'm delirious from uh, heat and hunger. It is in the 90s in London at the moment. It never gets this hot, so um, we have climate change to thank. It gets to be a hotter summer every year here. Of course, we don't have any uh, air conditioning because the uh, country wasn't made for it. Yuma, where'd she go? Who would have thought she'd disappear again? Well, oh, a note for us, huh? I think that might be one of Mochizuki's, uh, to deal with hidden monsters. That is a, oh, we actually do need to read that to progress. Um, says, uh, deal with hidden monsters, you need your powder. And we have our powder. Oh, hey, Hikawa, how's it going? Look like you're having fun. He's praising the sun. Inaba, Ichinomi is mine. We need her family's blood for the awakening ritual. What are you gonna do to Yuma? <laughs> his world will soon be mine. And uh, off he goes. All that's left is to summon that great being. Oh, Hikawa, come on, man. And we hear a spooky sound. But that's okay. Because we've got... Uh, the Benghazi powder. <laughs> oh, look at that little cutie. He's still my heart. It's a beating heart. All gone. Uh, let's follow that boy. What are you doing up here, you rascal? Spooky music, like it really means it. And there's Yuma. Yuma, how's it going? Uh, Inaba? Oh no. It's uh, a creature from a different game. <laughs> oh, look at that dragon, he's cool. <laughs> he's actually very dorky. Uh, and somebody slapped us. Who, who could it be? There's only so many people left alive. I think we know who it is. And now we're in Kingsfield. We're really not. He caught what threw us in a pit. I got a job for you. Head underground and move the ancient, the elder sign, the Elden Ring perhaps. Uh, so we need to uh, mess around and help him with his dark rituals. <laughs> this music, my goodness. Uh, oh, we should do a safety save. <laughs> music. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Great stuff. Okay. What you got for us? A crest for a crusty boy. Uh, got it. It does look very Kingsfield though, doesn't it? I love these aesthetics. There's that um, Kingsfield, that randomly generated, or procedurally generated Kingsfield homage uh, on the uh, PS1 Haunted Demo disc. Uh, so, uh, th that looks really good. I think it's called Fiend Island. 
I could be completely wrong. Sorry if I am. But do check out the Haunted PS1 demo disc. The 2021 one has some great stuff on it. They both had great stuff on it. We're using the powder of Benghazi because this is a uh, a wall that we uh, could not uh, could not get past. Uh, this room is closing in on us, and we're going to open the slot. And wouldn't you believe? Would you believe it? We got a we got a crouch again. That crouch button is getting some use. We're somehow alive. We didn't get squished. Ooh, that was close. Turn around ever so slowly, because everything is slow when you're crouched. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody was trying to do away with us. Uh, an octagonal indentation. Well, we have an octagonal crest, don't we? Stick it in there. Put the crest in the wall. And that resets the ceiling and will allow us to uh, move on to the next room. Amazing stuff. We're in the final stretch here. If I wasn't looking at uh, bits of uh, flavor text and doing some safety saves, uh, the guarantee that the game would crash, I wouldn't have saved. Um, we could probably have gotten here in just under an hour. I mean, the cutscenes, they do take time to get through. That's the deal. Okay, so now... Uh, how do we get through here? Uh, we want to, I believe we want to extinguish the candles. Put them out. That one's already out. Great. So we have extinguished the candles, and there is a hole in the wall looking suspiciously... Uh, like the other hole uh, on the way to the chapel. So we're gonna put our red gem in there. Great work. And that's created a laser beam. Whoa. Holy moly. Uh, and that has disabled the force field where we can mess with the elder sign. Because why not? That won't do anything bad, will it? I'm sure it'll be just fine. What's this light? Well. Normal. It's normal. I think I did good. <laughs> oh, whoops. Actually, I think I did something bad. Sorry. Let me get those two mixed up. A direction? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Again, I'm not super familiar with this uh, last part of the game. I um, I have beaten this. I have beaten this a number of times. Uh, but it's really the messing around, <laughs> messing around top side that I'm the most familiar with. Hey, I did your thing. Um, and uh, by doing your thing, I mean uh, wasting time and taking us, taking us in the opposite direction. <laughs> Never mind, it's fine. Uff, 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 uff. I'm still running around. I've been on my feet for an hour here. A whole hour. So much has happened. I've seen so many corpses. So many weird conversations. What happened to Rie? She was a, uh, a real all-star member of the Iru cast. Yeah, we want to go over here. That's the door that we wanted to open. Up the stairs. And uh, here we are. Very Shadow Tower. Very Shadow Tower in here. Hey, what's that sound? It's a couple of goofballs. Hey, how you doing? Come, uh, come to our restaurant. Oh, you leaving?
Seal the door with a large bar. We... I don't think we need to save here. I think... I don't think there's going to be any more glitches. I think we'll be fine. Uh, but we will seal the door, as that gentleman has asked us to do. How you doing, buddy? It's the principal. The real principal, and he's shirtless as can be. Uh, it's probably a clay doll. A golem, if you will. Why, does a, why is a golem killing people for, for, uh, for giggles? It's a race against time. Help the principal. There's a lunar eclipse. Scary eclipse. And it was the seal to lock away an evil god. The seal out of the way. He's coming. It cuts Cthulhu and friends. Don't sacrifice. Don't sacrifice. Don't sacrifice Kaori. Or Kaori, rather. Uh, they want Yuma. This guy, he's all about hanging out with Cthulhu. But I guess he doesn't much like him. Okay, we did it. So, next order of business. <laughs> so many orders of business. Just call me the CEO. Uh, that door's not going to open yet. button here. Oh, hey. It's Hikawa. He's laughing. <laughs> Good laugh, buddy. What a real jerk. Off he goes. Well, that was a cool little dance out of the room. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pipe down. It's an evil book. Did Hikawa read it? Following where it's written in the cover. It's the Necronomicon! Don't touch it. Necronomicon. Don't breathe this. Uh, diary on the table. Uh, the friend came by with his spooky book. We all had sorts of fun. All, all kinds of fun. And... Uh, this is the story of what happened. Uh, we found the Necronomicon and had a bad day. And I think that's it. Okay. Um, I've really wasted some time uh, reading that again. Uh, okay. That's fine. I think we're missing something for the good ending. I want to do the good ending. Um, Hikawa... Hikawa's got his just desserts. He can wander around mad for all I care. <laughs> Stay mad! Die mad! <laughs> so... Oh, am I wrong? You know what? I think we've um, I think we've accidentally uh, locked ourselves into the bad ending. Uh, I think I went the wrong way when we came out into the Shadow Tower uh, area, but that's fine. That's fine. That's just this type of game. <laughs> bad ending it is. Last minute bad ending. Change of plans. <laughs> Don't mind us. Clock tower. Uh, let's bring the clock tower after all. Uh, if the gear wasn't moving, I could get across. Uh, I think we use the crowbar here. Nope. Okay, so you can see that I'm uh, a little bit less familiar with these bits. Okay. Uh, we use our crowbar here. Throw that monkey wrench in the works. Gum them up. There we go. 
Good job, Inaba. And we'll uh, give ourselves a little climb. Slowly but surely. Any, any day now, Inaba. There we go. What a mess we've made. I wouldn't want to do this either. So if we end up doing this live, if we end up doing this uh, this little speedrun live, I will be sure to go for the good ending next time, just to mix things up. But we're going to have some fun with the bad ending. I mean, it's not truly a Lovecraft story, or Lovecrafty, Lovecrafty and Lovecraft-inspired story, if... Uh, if you have a good ending, right? It's not what the genre is about. It's not what cosmic horror is about. No, sir. Oh, and there's Yuma. Oh, no, poor Yuma. Who's wearing those robes? There's only like one character left alive. It must be Miss Hojo. Miss Hojo, why are you so mean? They're too focused on the ritual and haven't noticed me. I just need to sneak over there and save Yuma. Oh! Gosh! What was that? It is Miss Hojo. She's changed her makeup. Have you noticed? Man, they never notice. Uh, so you're here, Inaba, but there's nothing you can do. It's impossible for you to stop the ritual at this point. And it's true! It is! Because we bungled. Haha, <laughs> everything will be reborn once the moon has vanished. It's great that this game screws you over at the last minute, um, where you can do everything right. Well, there's only one path. Uh, and then if you um, uh, walk down uh, the uh, apparent door uh, and not uh, a different door that you completely missed, um, that's it. All we can do is stand here and wait. <laughs> Miss Hojo, Miss Hojo, why are you being so mean? Got some sonic rings. Uh, Inaba, bear witness to the end of mankind's rule. Watch as a new world is created before our very eyes. Oh, she's gone. This is the beating of my master's heart. And there he is. You wanted to see him, didn't you, folks? There he is. My master, our clan, welcomes you. A hey, Cthulhu. And that's us with our hair and our fear. And you better believe that's Irdu. The time didn't save, did it? Uh, well... We saw it a minute ago. It was an hour and 22-something. The tower violently shook and began to crumble. Inaba's mind shattered the moment his eyes caught sight of the repulsive monster. His face was his fate was to perish alongside the collapsing tower. Inaba had no way of knowing this, but the offspring Cthulhu came to the offspring of Cthulhu came to Earth millions of years ago and ruled over a civilization of a now lost continent over the South Pacific Ocean. Now with the altar sign seal broken. The offspring of Cthulhu revived using the blood and flesh of Yuma and all those who died that night. Hojo's joyous screams echoed in the air as her skin tore away, her nose peeled off, and any resemblance of her humanity vanished. Her nose peeled off? <laughs> uh, in a flash, the monster stabbed its claws into her chest and tore her body apart. Was it worth it? Was it worth it, Miss Hojo? Just because you fell in love with a student? Uh, with a terrible roar, the offspring of Cthulhu spread its enormous wings and launched into the sky. Cthulhu didn't even name his son. Typical deadbeat dad. Uh, once again, it would seize power and rule over the planet. It does seem a little unearned, doesn't it? <laughs> Seeing the big Cthulhu at the end is very cool, though. So that is Iru, or they're here. 
uh, as um, created by Soft Machine, translated by uh, Snowy Aria's uh, localization, um, fan translation outfit, uh, Eight Mansions. And here's all the friends we uh, made along the way. Ah, uh, Nakanishi, with your mullet so bright, we hardly knew you. There's Misa. We didn't bother talking to you. <laughs> so yeah, that's Irdu. Uh There's uh, Hirose waving goodbye. It's a, a delightful little horror romp. Um, and I absolutely love these low polygonal um, 3D aesthetics. Um, give me give me a, uh, a haunted school um, in this visual style any day of the week, and I will eat it right up. Space lap. It's uh, when you sit on somebody's lap in the moon, on the moon. And Miss Hojo, you can tell she was evil because she changed her makeup, uh, her, she changed her lipstick from a, uh, a, a light and dainty pink to a dark purple. <laughs> Looks like he's got a little mustache, uh, a uh, cancelable mustache at that. I don't think he does, though. I think it's just uh, polygons glitching out. Well, there's uh, Kyoko and Rie. They were never seen again. I believe even in the good ending, you don't find out what happened to them and why they uh, why they vanished um, and why the uh, door was put back uh, on the bathroom and cleaned up. They're just gone. <laughs> getting, it's just her getting killed to this music. Uh, you remember the Hound of Tindalos? What times we had. A, a, a deep kiss he gave. There's Nakanishi and his encounter with the Shagath. All your favorite moments. All your favorite characters. Poor guy. Well, we'll see you in hell. <laughs> We're all there now. I feel like that when I wake up in the morning, too. Yep. Oh, poor Yuma. I feel like we really let her down. I would have been happy with the world ending. Uh, the world ending ending. The world's end ending. Uh, if we uh, managed to uh, save Yuma. We could, we could watch the world end together. It would be very romantic. Rie. <laughs> Rie, you blew it. Uh, and there's Miss Hojo. She really blew it. We have our three voice actors. Two males and a lady to uh, do the uh, pants and screams. Test play by pole to win. And there you have it. Uh, the most special thanks to you, and that's not just the player, it's to all of you who uh, stuck, stuck this out with me, enjoyed this uh, clumsy little not quite speed run of uh, one of my favorite not so horrifying horror games. Uh, and now that it's available in English, I'm hoping that more people will play this. Uh, it's very, very easy to patch. Um, this runs, uh, uh, from what I understand, this runs perfectly on hardware. Uh, we are playing on emulation at the moment because who has CD-ROMs in their house in Year of Our Lord 2021? Certainly not me. Um, I could play this on actual hardware, but I would need to get some, some CD-ROMs uh, to, uh, to burn. Uh, maybe we can do that next time. That would actually be pretty fun. Uh, but this is... This is my actual copy, my copy that I found for five pounds at Computer Exchange way back in, in 2001. Uh, I ripped this and applied the patch. Uh-oh. And I uh, spanked my mirror. My mirror? My microphone. Words, how do they work? I especially like the, uh, 
Especially like the CDR with the blood stain. Very cool. Uh, so there it is. Irlu, it's worth five pounds from Computer Exchange. <laughs> No, uh, if if copies are still cheap, and I'm sure they will, they will be. I know that um, uh, games collecting is um, horrible, horrible now. Um, collectors have really ruined things. Uh, rich, deep-pocketed collectors have really ruined things for the rest of us. Uh, but uh, if you find a copy of Iru, I say go for it. Uh, right, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for sticking this out with me. Uh, it's been a hoot, uh, even though we got the surprise bad ending. Maybe we'll get the good one next next time. Who knows? Um, that is where I'm going to cut it today. Uh, so remember to stay sassy, stay sour, and never log off.